Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to the Dixie Bell main page. I am Krista with Litter to Glitter. Yes, I know my camera is wonky. I am sorry for that. I have no idea. I, I have set up two tripods tonight because I've got a lot of stuff to show you guys. So I am trying so hard right now and it's not playing nice there. So I have this pie crust table. And what I've done is the Suzanne's fall colors. I have painted this already in latte. I've let it sit for about 24 hours. Now on the other screen, which is that, that way on the camera, because you know, two cameras, it's that way on the camera. It's there for me, but there for you. Um, I have, uh, on the top, I have the whimsical stencil. So when you jump on, tell me where you're from, tell me what you're working on and uh you know say hi because well you know kind of like that so um what i want to do is i am going to this is latte in the suzanne's colors which let me tell you it is fabu i almost used the other f word it is fabu okay so i did not think that i would love this color as much as i did until i opened it and it got here so it is amazing and I love it. It is a very warm color. It is beautiful. So let me know if you want me to do the stencil first or if you want me to do the wash on the base. So that's what I need to figure out. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. So I have to get over to my comments. And I know I think I'm like two minutes late. Um, we actually have some in guest, uh, in studio guests tonight. We have some of Shorty's friends from work. And they came up to see us and we've been talking for a while, but they just came up today. So we are going to go out and have dinner afterwards. So if you hear some laughing, maniacal laughing in the background, that's them. And, uh, you know, cause life happens. So Mert is from Montana. Nancy is from Washington. Meant to be says, hi, Krista. Dixie Bell says, hey, everybody. So if you are a retailer, please put in your retailer link, your Facebook page, so people can find you. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Last week I had some audio difficulty, but I figured out what it was. Uh, I have a wireless microphone and one side charged and the other side didn't. Go figure. So that was my audio difficulty last week, but I got that fixed because I plugged them in. So, uh, Jackie says, hey, y'all. Sue Owen says, Nana's Boutique inside the Flea Traders Paradise in uh, Seaverville, Tennessee. So, do y'all want me to wash the base or do y'all want me to do the stencil? Hey, Leanne. So, uh, Elizabeth says, hello from New Jersey. Eva Newsom says, uh, stencil, 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 meant to be. Uh, Mert says, sounds good. Okay, sounds good. What, stencil or wash? Just let me know what camera to go to. Stencil. So, Sue said stencil, and you know I love me some Sue. So, um, I have got to figure out what's going on with this camera, though, because I'm like, really? Oh, meant to be is, I am not going to be able to pronounce that. Uh, not even on a good day, but it's in uh, New York. Um, Oswego? Is that right? Oswego, New York. Meant to be said wash, wash, wash. Dana Perry Ridge is on. Hey, Dana girl. Eva. Tammy is said wash. Okay, I've got two wash and one stencil. But, you know, I love me some Sue. So, all right. So, I think what I'm going to do is this. Now, I did mix this before I went live. But what I'm going to do is this. All right. So let me bring you guys in. Hello. Bring you all in nice and close. And just to embarrass my, see there's Shorty. Oh, no. Shorty. Hey, what's going on? He's setting up my camera lights because it has been a day, guys. And look, look, there is, there's my girls. Yep. So let me put this back down. Let me get you in close. No, right there. Yep. All right. So I've got two wash. Dana Perry Ridge said, I had to go over to YouTube at first because I couldn't find your live anywhere. Jackie said stencil. 
Eva Newsom said, uh, hey, y'all from Baton Rouge. Wash, wash, wash. Stencil. Hey, Jesse. Jesse's in all the way from Australia. Hey, Jesse. All right. So I'm getting a lot of. Huh? Okay. How about if I do this? How about if I do what y'all can see on camera and then I move to the stencil? That'll be all right. So give me some hearts and give me some thumbs up and give me some love. Give me some laughs. If that's okay with you guys, I was stalking DB until you came on. Thank you, Tammy. You know, I love how you stalk me, girl. Wash. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of wash. I have my Dixie Bell mister. Love my mister. Um, and I have my best dang brush uh, from Dixie Bell. Hello from Franklin Park, New Jersey. She said stencil. That is from Evelyn. Dana said, hi, Tammy. Hello from Kentucky. All right. So this is Latte, which is from the Suzanne's Fall Colors. Like I said, did not think I would fall in love with this color as much as I did when it came in. But this is pine cone. All right. Kind of an unloved color by Dixie Bell, but should be loved. So if you haven't checked out pine cone, do that because this is a beautiful color up against latte. Let me show you why. So, uh, Tammy girl, she said, laugh out loud. Girl, you know how I like how you stalk, how I stalk you. And you know how much I love it when you do. I love me some Tammy. So this is the chalk mineral paint and that, I mean, okay. My best dang brush in there. See, not a lot. Let me get it on the camera. Not a lot, but I am going to go in and I'm just going to pat it on. Just patting it around. Trust me, doing a wash, it's not rocket surgery. You don't have to have a degree from MIT. It's easy. And then I'm going to take my Mr. Bottle. Hello. And I am going to spritz it down with my water. And then with your best dang brush, you're just going to kind of move it around. You can pounce it and go over that so easy. And so look how easy it is to do a wash. And if I want to, I can add more water and make it drip. Yes, the new colors have come out yet. If your local retailer, Dawn, if your local retailer does not have them, let me know and I can order them and have them shipped directly to you. If you have a local elite retailer, they can order them now. And so look how amazingly beautiful. They're sitting right there. <laughs> Shorty just asked me, how can I get them? I'm like, they're sitting right there, dude. Um, I already have them in my shop. What? Really? Okay. Not even going there. So I found it finally. Notifications. Hello, Krista. Hey, Amber. Um, Eva Girl's on from Georgia. I got the pleasure of meeting Amber Girl when I was in Georgia on my second trip. Uh, Tammy Martin says, uh, yay. I'm so glad they've come out. I heard the 27th. No girl, I can get them for you now. Any of your late retailers can get you these colors now. Um, I worked in the field of painting work, uh, Nori. I think that's how you say that decorating and I'm um, looking for a job. Have good. Oh, Dixie Bell says they're available on their website on the 22nd. But yeah, I can get them to you or any of your elite retailers can get them to you. So let me see if I can move this because, you know, hello. Um, let me get you up. Yeah, kill this light. Yeah, the top's going to be dark. So, okay. So what I'm going to do is you see how it's sculpted here. I'm just going to go with this and I'm going to go across like that. And then I'm going to hit with my Mr. Bottle and then I'm going to go back.
and hit that. What do you think? That is how easy it is, guys. Yeah, Dawn, check your local retailer, but if not, hit me up, girl. Make sure you're following me on Litter to Glitter on my Facebook page, my YouTube. I just started up a uh, TikTok. Uh, let's see here. I've also got Instagram, Twitch. Yeah, I'm all over the place. So um, there you go. So that is what I'm looking at right now. Let me put this up so you guys can see up close. No, I'm not covering it completely. It's a wash. Shorty's back there, you know, my armchair quarterback or my Monday morning quarterback. Tammy says she's in love with the table, Krista. You know, that was so quick. Let me just go ahead and finish the base because I'm going to have plenty of time to get to that stencil, which I wanted to do. So again, I'm just going to dip down into my pine cone. Like I said, pine cone is not a popular color from Dixie Belle, but over this latte, it should be. Look at how, I mean, y'all saw how little I put on that brush. And look at how much it's covering. And then I'm just going to hit this. Okay. That's like one and a half spritzes from my Mr. Bottle. Going back into my details with my best dang brush. And scrubbing it in. Hello. Who doesn't love that? Get that a little bit more blended. All right. Now I'm going to switch around. And let me get this camera back because, yeah. Hello. Again, dipping my brush. Look, guys. Look. See how little paint is on my brush? I'm just going around, tapping it on. Yep. And then what I will do after this dries is that I will come back and hit it with my polyacrylic top coat. And once it, you know, with chalk paint, it dulls after it dries. And that's fine because if you hit it with your polyacrylic top coat, then it's going to become shinier again. And so what this coffee or what, what this uh, pine cone over the latte, which is, it's gorgeous. Trust me in real life. This is flipping gorgeous. Um, we did actually did a sample board this afternoon. Actually shorty did a sample board cause I was wondering about colors and we did a couple of colors. And there's some other colors that look amazing, but like we tried vintage duck egg. We used Annabelle and blue and we tried the pine cone and we're like, that's it. All right. So the only thing is, is that, you know, with these pie crust tables and once this dries, I'll flip it over cause there's a little ball on the bottom. And so I will flip this over when I'm done and get the bottom of it and make sure I'm getting in. It just gives it a worn rustic look. And so that is, that's, that's it. That is how much eat. That is how easy doing a wash is. And I miss that leg. How did I miss that leg? What are you guys saying? Why did not, why didn't y'all tell me I missed that side of the leg? Thought you guys liked me. And you know, if there's not enough contrast, I can always go back with a uh, brown glaze. And um, on top of this, after I seal it. So now let me move up to the top. So let me get to comments real quick. Real, real, real quick. Uh, hey, Amber. Tammy says, woohoo, happy. Need a close up, hard to see split screen. So, okay, extreme close up. 
I'm doing the whole Wayne's World thing. Extreme close up. There's the wash. I don't see Betty yet. I know your Betty's not here yet. I'm sorry. So there you go. Uh, let me get to comments. I like that color. Yeah, this is latte in the new Suzanne's uh, fall colors and a pine cone wash over it. Yes, Amber, this is pine cone. Uh, let's see here. Yes, I'm doing pine cone on the stencil here in just a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit you guys here so y'all can see the base because if I turn this camera off, my microphone also goes with it. And I am going to move to the other camera because, you know, I'm multi-personality. I mean, multifunctional. Shut up, shorty. So, well, I need to get back here and then you can put it on the top. All right. So, on this camera, hello. Um, give me just a second. I'm going to move this here so y'all can actually see my face. Y'all don't need to see my feet. Even though I painted my shoes in Dixie Bell too. Y'all don't need to see all that. Yep. And then, yep. There we go. So as you see here, I've got my whimsical check stencil by Dixie Bell. And I believe the dimensions on these are, I just want to make sure that I ain't telling you something wrong. So, yes, I am correct. They are 14 by 18. This is the whimsical check stencil. They also have the buffalo check stencil, but this is the whimsical check stencil. Now, we talked a couple of weeks ago about the tacky spray because you want to get the repositional tacky spray, and it will say repositional on the tacky spray. Do not get the hard tack uh, just because... I've done it, and you don't want to know the result when you get the hard tack. It's 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 not a good thing if you get the hard tack. Get the repositional. I cannot tell you enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the back of my stencil. Make sure you shake it up. Yeah. And if you have dogs or cats, sometimes they can be very sensitive to the spray. So make sure you're using it away from your pets, small children, that kind of thing. But I am going to just, do you have to use a repositional tacky spray? No, but I like using a repositional tacky spray. And I am going to place this to where that check is right at the top there. Uh, what a, a spray does is that it allows your stencil to adhere and give yourself a little bit crisper, cleaner line. And so I am going to go back and, love, can you pass me just one? She sat in my chair with all my rags, so now she's she has to hand me stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my best dang brush. And since I used it with the wash, I just want to make sure I'm getting all the excess water out, which there's not a lot. But, you know, safe than sorry. You know how that goes. And are they able to see better with the light? Okay, tell me if you can see better with the light or without the light. Okay, there's the light. There's the light. And that's not the light. So tell me which way you can see better. What does the buffalo check look like compared to this one? Ashley, I don't know what this one is, or I tell you. There's a whimsical check, and there's a buffalo check. The whimsical check has more of the um, slashed tiles on it, I guess, than, you know, the regular buffalo check. So, Jackie said light, with light. Yes, please sprinkle with your friends, or as I say, glitter me. With the light is good. 
Uh, Nikki says, poo, a bit late, watching from Guthrie, Oklahoma, with, with the light. Or I did like the other night and didn't use anything to hold it. Lots of yes. Tammy uh, Martin was on the phone with me and uh, Bug, which is Christina from um, Repurposeful in um, Woodstock, Georgia. And she used the Moroccan stencil and did this beautiful, uh, Tammy, if you can post all the colors that you used, because it was gorgeous. And she was sending us pictures and she's like, what do I need to add? What do I need to add? And so, yeah, we talked her through that. It's kind of like having a baby. Um, but we got her through just a lot of <sighs> breathe, breathe. It'll be okay. But we got her through it and she sent us pictures. It's absolutely fabu and gorgeous. So, okay. Everyone is saying with the light. All right. So what I'm doing is I am going back down into my pine cone and I'm using my best dang brush, which is amazing. I love this brush. And I am going to be, I gave it a few, just a few seconds. Yeah, I know I talked and y'all are like, shut up, Kristen, do something. But I talked for a minute because I wanted my glue to adhere and dry. Oh, gotcha. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my best dang brush because you can use a small stencil brush, but when your stencil is this big, why? Okay, use a bigger brush. And the best dang brush is amazing for these large stencils. And you want to make sure that you go at a 90 degree. And I'm tapping it down. Making sure I get all over the stencil. Shorty, are you still messing with stuff? I'm trying to get to where they can see what you're doing. That's my man. He's a perfectionist. Yeah, he's the perfectionist in our relationship. And I'm the, ah, whatever works. You know, it's good enough for government work. Um, and so give me just a minute and I'll get you to your guys' comments. Make sure that you're following my Litter to Glitter page. Um, Dixie Bell has... What happened? Hey guys, guess what? My uh my iPhone dropped reception and that's why I like to do my split screens because guess what? The only thing I had to do was turn my mic on my computer and y'all can now see what I'm doing directly onto the stencil. So hello. I'm a technical genius. No, I'm not. I'm just this has happened before and I'm prepared. So um, that's where we're going with this. I'm prepared. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for knowing that, uh, Facebook has technical glitches and, you know, stuff happens. I appreciate it. Not sure why my phone dropped, but you know, I'll live. I'm a big girl. Is there a reason you use a net brush? I like, well, for the big stencil, if I was using a small artistic stencil that's very small, I'd use a smaller brush. Because the other day you were using a sponge. Oh, because that was too thick, right? Right. The other day I was using an artist brush because the stencil I was using was very thick. And it was small. Because remember, those yeah. that lettering on the military piece I did was only about an inch tall. And so since this is a larger stencil, I'm using this. And since the uh, Best Dang brush has the flat surface, it is perfect for stenciling over using the stencil on larger stencils. So and using the woodpecker technique. <laughs> hey, I like the Woody Woodpecker method. <clears throat> Anybody want a husband? I'm selling mine off cheap. I don't do windows. 
You do windows. You did windows this morning. Don't lie. They were in his truck, but you know, he did windows. It's still windows. They were on his truck, but he did windows. And so that's why I am using on my resume. It says that I fix furniture. <laughs> And he'll also move furniture and, you know. <laughs> and I come with a 20-foot trailer. Yeah, by now, I'll throw in the 20-foot trailer. <laughs> come up. Highest bidder gets him. Oh, I got a, I got a bid for $1.99, baby. I might have to give her back change, but I got a bid for $1.99. <laughs> and so with this larger brush, you can see how quick the stencil is going. If you are in the Dallas Fort Worth area, I am in my own storefront. So if you come in while we're open, you can actually bring in a door or a drawer from whatever project you're working on and sit down with me and we can talk right through your project. We also do classes. Yeah. Oh, our friends just gasped. <laughs> I heard an audible gasp because she didn't know we did classes. Yes, we do classes in English and Spanish. And Shorty has assured me that we will start doing more videos on Dixie Bell Espanol in Spanish. Can y'all hear that? Because I am having the time of my life. Oh, I thought you were trying to tell me something Morse code. It wasn't Morse code. Hey, 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 <laughs> easy there. So, yeah, I heard an audible gasp from Amy. And guess what, lady? You in trouble. Because, uh, yeah, we do classes as well. So come on in and we'll find you a spot. So I just want to make sure I've kind of got even coverage all the way around. I see a couple places that are a little thin. And before I move my stencil, I want to make sure that it is smooth all the way around. Smooth jazz for your easy listening. Don't hate me. Hey, 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 Shorty's over there going, you know, knocking on the another piece of furniture. We've only got like eight projects working at a time. So, you know, not a big deal. And so I'm just going to go back through and tap all the way around to make sure. And I'm also giving this new stuff that I just did a little bit of time to dry. Hey, not a Gilmore. lot. Tappy, tappy. Yeah. That's the whole happy Gilmore tap, tap, tappy. And so I just want to make sure that I'm giving it a second to dry before I pull up my stencil and y'all will see the magic happen. Oh. It is amazing how it looks. You know, it looks like just a big old mud yeah. pile. Yeah. It's beautiful. I can't wait to see it. When it's All right. So Jesse said shorty would cost too much to Australia. Yeah, with a two week quarantine. <laughs> um, yeah, he would cost too much to uh, ship but I'm willing to take the cost. Barry Cobb's on. Hey, Barry. Um, Sue Owen says, I bid buck 380 on Shorty. <laughs> what glue did I use to attach the stencil? Okay, let me grab this. So what I use is this. I get it from the, uh, you can pick this up. I have not found it at Hobby Lobby. I've only been able to find it at uh, Michael's. And as you can see, it says repositional. Do not get the heavy tack. Because I can tell you how I know that, but <laughs> I'd start crying. Um, get the repositional. So we're up to $3. $3.80, Shorty. <laughs> hey, but that's American. <laughs> so uh, Julie says hi from Austin. Hey, Julie. What's the best way to clean the best dang brush? Okay, let me let me see if I can get around my cords here because you know, Shorty has me trapped in here. Dang him. And um, so let me see if I can get down here. Hello. The best way to clean your best dang brush 
is to make sure that you're using your scrubby soap and warm water. Make sure that when you clean your brush, you hang it like this. So what I do is that I uh, have, since this one doesn't have a hole, you can either drill a hole through it and hang it, or I hang it from, you know those coat hangers you hang your pants on that have the, the clips? I use those, and I put a Christmas ornament hook, and I open it up, and then I wrap it around to hang it like that. So this is the scrubby soap. And this one is in lemon lime. And um, yeah, there you go. Yeah. so this is the lemon lime. And it also comes in lemon and orange. And so you want to do that. Um, Julie says she uses hand sanitizer and then scrubby soap. Hey, Kelly from Georgia and Connie from Waco. Does the spray leave a residue on the furniture? Um, if you spray really heavy, it can leave a residue, but that's why I do a thin coat. Now, are you ready for the reveal? Drum roll, please. Ooh. Hello. Nice. Yes, isn't that gorgeous, especially now I am going to put this over here for just a second. So because my other camera went out and, you know, I'm only one person. So with that wash on the side, can y'all see that? And the top. So what I wanna do is me personally, let me see if I can get me on camera. Hi guys. So what I like to do is that I like to let my stencil set for a few minutes and dry before I reposition. Because what can happen and not all the time, you might be very lucky and it not happen to you, but it's me. So if it's gonna happen to anybody, it's gonna be me. If you don't give it a few minutes to dry before you move your stencil, you can actually kind of uh, pull your stencil and paint go down where you don't want it. So me personally, do what you want. Me personally, I like to leave it for a few minutes. So let me see what's going on. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm just reading through. Uh, I love my scrubby stove. I used it on my stencil to clean. Yes, you did, girl, because you called us in a panic. I'm going to tell tales out of school. Tammy sent me a message the other morning, the day after she did all that beautiful stenciling. Go over to Painting with Whiskey and Women. And uh, you can see what she did with the Moroccan stencil by Dixie Bell with layering all the colors that we told her to. And she actually sent, yes, Tammy, I'm telling tales out of school on you, girl. Uh, she sent me a message the next day. I didn't rinse my stencil and now it's all gunked. How do I clean it? So we, Christina, Bug, and I from uh, Repurposeful gave her some advice and she got in there and she scrubbed her stencil and yes, she used her scrubby soap. So Kelly says she's joining from Georgia. Um, Tammy says she loves it. So pretty. It looks gorgeous. Stunning. Pretty. Um, hey, from Perry, Florida. Hey, Belma. Amber says it's beautiful. Hi, lovely Tammy. Um, Cynthia says I look gorgeous this evening. Happiness looks good on anybody, girl. Um, Hey, from Auckland, New Zealand. Tell it, girl, it's real life. Yeah, Jackie said it was beautiful. Yeah, she used the Moroccan stencil by Dixie Bell, and she used uh, Tammy. If I you used uh, Plum Crazy, um, Colonel Mustard. Uh, uh, it wasn't Dixie Bell blue. It was uh, what was the blue you used? Help me. Is she, did you use eat a pixie stick? Dana said that you ate a pixie stick. You're diabetic. I did not eat a pixie stick. Okay, you know I can go back and rewatch this video, right? You ate two. Thank you, Dana, for letting me know because my life has just turned upside down. You have no idea when this man's on a sugar rush what I got to deal with. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it over real quick because... We are. Yeah. Shorty called you a tattletale. 
Um, okay, we've got a few more seconds or a few more minutes. What I'm going to do is since I've given this a minute or two to dry, thank you for allowing me to do that. Personal preference, preference is what I like to do. Yeah, now I know. Yeah, Dana said she thinks she ate too. She was, she told me all about it. <laughs> um, Nancy, you can see the table that Tammy painted on painting with whiskey and women group. Um, we have a show. It's myself and three other Dixie Bell retailers um, every week. And on painting with whiskey and women group, if you can't find it, send me a request, send me a friend request. And I will send you an invite to join us. So when you do the, when you spray it like that a bit again, babe, you don't have to worry about it smearing your paint. No, that's why I waited a, a minute or two. Okay, with the sticky stuff. Yep, and exactly, that's why I waited a minute with the sticky stuff. And so, uh, can you fix my camera to go back down? Okay, that one's not going to work. I need to move it. I just want to make sure I'm getting to the end of my table. So it's going to be that one. Are you that technolo technologically jacked? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Do I need to give you more sugar? Why does it not twist? It doesn't need to twist. It just needs to go down. Hello. And so I am lining my stencil back up on the edge. There we go. All right. Yes, he's eating my pixie sticks, guys. He's eating my pixie sticks. Those are my pixie sticks. I was not eating. I was testing them. I don't want you to get poisoned. <laughs> See how much I love you? I'm telling you guys. Cheap. I was selling cheap tonight. Hell, I might even pay you to take him, but yeah. Okay, so I'm giving this just a second. All right, and then I'm going back in the areas that I see. And you just need to give it a second or two to dry. I just don't like moving my stencil when it's wet, 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 wet. I like to give it a second to dry before I move it. And like I said, this pine cone looks amazing over the latte. You guys, you've met me. You know, this isn't our first dance. I'm a skeptic with everything, even with product lines that I love. I'm a skeptic. And so uh, I should have been born in Missouri because you're going to have to show me. Um, and I was a skeptic when you know they announced the fall colors and i'm like okay we'll see i did not think that i was going to love the latte as much as i love the latte so all right so put it over there and that's how you just overlap your stencil to make sure that you're getting a straight line all the way across. Again, me, I like to let this set for a minute before I move it to here and here. So let me get to comments. Um, oh, somebody asked, what is Pixie Sticks? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, girl. You did not. You did not just go there. So Pixie Sticks are basically uh, flavored, sugar. flavored color sugar. I don't want orange. Give me one of the blue sticks oh, or the red sticks. No, like you're not allowed to eat. Give me that. That's Pixie Stick number three. Yeah, that's all you do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's basically powdered. It's not powdered sugar. It's basically uh, colored flavored sugar. Um, and it's, I think you're from Australia, if I know the name, or New Zealand. And so it's an American thing. It's basically a little tube, paper tube. It, you know, Halloween's coming up. Do I need to show them again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm sacrificing my health to show them. Mm. <laughs> so Leanne says she's in Australia. 
<laughs> so for me, pixie sticks is a delicacy. I love my pixie stick. Me too. I'm pretty much a hummingbird. I run off of sugar and caffeine. Um, yeah, I can't function without my sugar. So I always have uh, pixie sticks. And um, Nancy, Tammy said, uh, painting with whiskey and women. If somebody could tag the group in here, that would be great. Um, thank you, Tammy. She said that whiskey and women were great. Yes. Dana says to eat pixie sticks, you have to throw your head back like you're taking a shot. Absolutely. <laughs> and then afterwards, you have to do the typical, you know, American woo. You have to do that or yeehaw. Um, Amber mm. says she loves the latte and juniper. No, this is latte and pine cone. I'm, Amber, this is uh, latte is on the base and then the stencil is done in pine cone. Now you have to show your tongue. I don't know if I want to. And it colored? Yeah. Um, Christina is watching. Hey, bug. So she said that in Australia, they had something similar to pixie sticks. They were called sherbet sticks. So, yeah, there we go. So, my lovelies, um, we have just about hit our time. I will go ahead and finish this up. I also, on this table, just so you know, because I'm going to be Wonder Woman, I'm going to pick this thing up because ooh, I'm buff. Um, right about on this line right around here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the pine cone all the way around the very edge of this with an artist brush and that is what we are doing i know but those colors i like dixie bell asked or did you yeah so uh cynthia baxley says i love my shorty so we're up to three dollars and 85 cents <laughs> do i get four dollars four dollars these years plus shipping and handling um yeah it depends upon if i get enough i might just send them to you free freight uh so that's what we're doing. I'm going to give this, a, you know, a few more minutes and I will finish this up. I will post these pictures on my Litter to Glitter page and um, on my Litter to Glitter. And I will also post them on Painting with Whiskey and Women. So my lovelies. Yeah, that's it, Leanne. So it was called, uh, what was it called? in Sherbert Sticks in Australia. Yeah, there's Pixie Sticks. So, do we get a money back guarantee? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Trust me, I am the only bond on this planet that can handle that. All right. You are not getting a money back guarantee on that. So, uh, guys, I will see you back here next Saturday night with uh, Dixie Bell main page. I will have another fabu, absolutely fabu, fun project for you guys. Make sure you are following my Litter to Glitter page as a uh, VAs and CCs will only be the only ones that will be on Dixie Belt main page starting October 1st. So if there's any of the retailers that you follow, make sure that you're following their page and make sure you're following me on Litter to Glitter. Make sure you reach out to me and get on Painting with Whiskey and Women. I'm also on YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, uh, TikTok. Hello. It's a social media world. So much love to you guys, and I will see you back here for my final show on the Dixie Bell main page next Saturday night. Much love to you guys. Bye.